Good morning again. I'm going to read from the Totec Prophecies by Don Miguel Ruiz, uh, the father, Mr. Senior Ruiz. Um, hope everybody's doing all right. A cup of coffee. The Four Prophecies. According to the Toltec calendar, which is also the Mayan and Aztec calendar, there has been five suns prior to the one that exists now. These prophecies said that there would be a huge earthquake in Mexico's biggest city of Tenochtitlan. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Tenochtitlan, or something like that. In 1986, this earthquake struck Mexico City, which is the modern Tenochtitlan. Tenochtitlan, the ancient Toltecs predicted that after the earthquake, there would be a five-year period of rest until the new sun was born. On January 11, 1992, the new sun came and it has sparked a great change in all humans. I remember that earthquake. I remember that being going on. 1986, I was in junior high school, but I remember all that being big news. Prophecy 1. I'm just going to read the first three paragraphs of this, keep it a little shorter today. But Prophecy 1, Birth of the Sixth Son. The birth of the Sixth Son spawned an evolution of humanity. Our mind is changing. We are becoming aware that we are dreaming and that we, we are controlling our dream. Instinctively, we are rejecting one quality of light and accepting another as we do this. We are modifying our connection to the sun. We do not need to work for it to happen. It is occurring already. All modifications originate from the sun because it has supreme intelligence. Humans all over the world have recognized this. Ancient Egyptians worshipped Ra, the sun god, and Tehilkan, they also knew that the sun controls the earth. They were aware that at certain intervals, life on this planet changed when the sun changed. The sixth sun has a different quality of light and it is transforming the dream of planet earth. It will transform the human mind, making it more aware of itself as a light being connected to the sun. As an individual, as in individuals, we will speed our own evolution if we just open to, to the new light allow the light to flow freely inside of us and become who we really are that's interesting it makes me think about you know those uh like bill gates had has projected a plan to spray all that crap into the sky and black out the sky so the sun's rays cannot enter in to our atmosphere like it does now like pretty much darkening everything for however long they want to <sighs> makes a little sense to me if the sun is a source of positive enlightening energy and information for us why wouldn't they want to block out the sun's rays to keep us from getting more information to awaken and and uh, change our dream anyway i'm no conspiracy theorist i deal in truth I just thought about that as I was reading, you know, putting some dots together. Anyway, God bless everybody. Mr. Cloud, Sage of the Eternal Moment. I'm going to work on having a good day and uh, hopefully get some production, some productive activities done today. Until next time, ditto, Mr.